Hello everyone, Zephy here. So, Capitao? Capitao? Capi boy? C Kappa boy? Capitao is a one armor, three speed DLC attacker operator. Member of Bob who costs 25,000 renown or 600 R6 credits unless you bought the year 1 season pass or the year 1 operator pack. He was added during Operation Skull Rain along with Caveira and Favela, and we all know how that went. He is a very strong utility operator who is very useful on bomb, but questionably so on secure area and hostage. He's one of the least picked attacker operators in the game and he also has one of the lowest win rates. Why that? Well, to understand that we need to take a look at his gadget. His gadget is a tactical crossbow, which has 4 bolts to use as ammo, 2 fire bolts and 2 smoke bolts. These bolts detonate instantly on impact with any surface and have special effects depending on the type of the bolt detonated. The fire bolts leave a sphere with a radius of 2 meters which deals 42 damage per second regardless of the enemy's armor type. Also, the visual effect of the fire is not at all indicative of its actual area effect, so keep that in mind. The smoke bolts leave an effect similar to standard smoke grenades that are available as a secondary gadget for some attackers but with a slightly smaller radius. With that in mind, what are the good things about his gadget? Well, right off the bat, knowing exactly where your smoke will land is a very helpful thing, except not really because it's a Ubisoft game. What? What the fuck? But when it works, it works amazingly well. It also completely ignores Jaeger's ADSs, so smoking out the site is extremely easy and efficient with this guy. They also do not have a fuse timer, so you can fire all four of your balls in quick succession for a very fast plant. And another good thing which might bite you in the ass sometimes is the fact that your fire goes through walls. It also has a 1x red dot sight attached, but I have no idea why you would want to use it since you already have the perfect hipfire accuracy with the thing. Now, what are the bad things about this gadget? Where for one, the ranges of the bolts take a while to get used to since let's be real here 2 meters is not a lot. It's decent, but not a lot. And the smokes, while good, face the trouble of you not being able to chuck them around corners, although neither of those problems will stop you from doing your job as Capitao, which is controlling enemy rotations and helping your teammates plant the diffuser, secure the room or discard the hostage. But his crossbow is not the only asset in his arsenal that allows him to perform such feasts. Let's talk about his weapons. The para is a decent weapon, with damage on the higher end of the spectrum when it comes to ARs, easily controllable recoil, but with a low fire rate of 650 RPM. It can take any grip, any barrel attachment and any scope, so use whatever you want here. I use the hollow with a flash hider and a vertical grip. I use the holographic because I'm trying to get used to the constant one-time zoom in order to not feel handicapped when defending. And it's going sweet. The para is basically an FN file, but Brazilian. And you know how everything is more exotic in Brazil. Uh, and more deadly. I'm not joking, what the fuck Brazil? The M249 is basically the same as the para in all aspects except for a larger max size, worse recoil and much slower reload. You like LMGs? You like the M249. But the AR is definitely not for everyone, which might be a big reason why people shit on Capital so much since he has to compete with the R4C and the 552 when it comes to 3-speed assault rifles. But if there's one gun I'd compare it to, it's the L85A2, because they're basically identical in stats, but one of them is on a 3-speed and has access to an angle grip. And the L85 is a very good gun in good hands, and so is the Para, and you should really get used to the low fire rate if you want to be efficient on the guy. I mean, it's not like I'm good at it, but I'm getting there. As for his secondary gadgets, you have access to the Claymore and the Flashbangs. Use the Claymore on maps where runouts are common or which have a lot of flank routes. Since you are a utility operator, having an additional measure to prevent yourself from being killed prematurely is very helpful. Flashbangs are very good for aggressive capital play. With them, you'll have a lot of tools to be able to flush out a room and prevent defenders from being able to contest easily with flashbangs, fire arrows and smokes. Just don't get killed while doing so, because your team will definitely feel it, especially if you're the only source of smoke grenades, which you shouldn't be, but okay. Also, if spitting in Jaeger's face with your ADS ignoring crossbow bolts wasn't enough, you can just burn three of his charges with your flashbangs by throwing them into a room which has ADSs set up. He gets the 60 points, but you get the plan down with a bajillion smokes in the objective room. The choice is yours. Capitao is very useful on bomb while being questionably useful on secure area and hostage, mainly because of his ability to counter Jaeger, Mira and Smoke all at the same time while having a decent gun and being 3-speed. Why is he not picked more often? 
He is very demanding in game sense and flick aim, because of his gun slow fire rate, if you don't hit the enemy in the head first, well you're probably going to die, because the enemy will most likely have a gun with a much higher fire rate than yours and they'll get the headshot onto you by pure chance or just kill you with body shots. Like, Capitao is by no means a bad operator and he was picked quite a noticeable amount in Pro League this season, but we're not in Pro League, so should you play him in ranked? I mean, he's amazing on quite a couple of maps, Consulate and Oregon to name a few, but what if it's not Bomb or it's not a map where his gadget sees a lot of use? Well then... shit. To be completely honest, his utility mainly comes from the fact that he ignores ADSs and his bolts don't have a trajectory despite having travel time, so he's great in vertical smoking and blocking off mirror windows completely. And recall how many mirrors you have seen in the past few matches you have played. Yeah. He is also very efficient in countering bandit tricking, just shoot the firebolt right next to the reinforced wall, the thermite is going to explode through a drone hole or the ceiling, and let your teammates do the rest. Cappy Boy is a counter to some of the most meta operators possible while also being 3 speed and having a decent gun, but he sees very limited usage because he's hard to play as in a team that barely communicates. And let's be real here, not a lot of people in ranked are willing to play the meta and you might as well have brought a better fragger because this is Call of Duty. After having said all that, should you buy Capitao? I wouldn't recommend you buying him as one of your first DLC operators, because while his crossbow is very helpful to the team, there are quite a few operators that do some of the things that he does, while also having better weapons. Obviously having firebolts is an amazing asset, but you can also have people with frag grenades use them in a similar manner. When it comes to smokes, Jackal and Dokubi are also DLC operators who have smokes at their disposal, so you aren't necessarily locked to Capitao in that regard. And while he's the only operator who can counter Jaeger's gadget as hard as he does, this is not a necessity in ranked, where just going full Rambo works as well as coordinating a complex push with your teammates. And let's be honest with ourselves, unless you have a squad, organizing a complex push is going to be borderline impossible. But just saying stuff like burn bandit, thermite left wall, isn't that difficult and more often than not will get the point across easily. I'd highly recommend you buy other more important utility ops like Hibana or Mira before adding Capital to your roster. And don't forget, communication is key. Good luck you guys, have a nice day.